Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon. First, I must thank our host Packet One Network for inviting me on this auspicious day when Malaysians finally get the much awaited WiMAX broadband services. Like all of you, I'm very excited to be here today as this marks another milestone in the development of the communications and multimedia industry in Malaysia. As you are aware, the government is targeting to achieve 50% household broadband penetration by year 2010 through the implementation of the high-speed broadband, HSBB, and broadband to general population, BBGP, projects. HSBB, with speeds of more than 10 megabits per second, is mainly for urban areas, while BBGP, with a speed of up to 2 megabits per second, covers semi urban and rural areas. Although both are important, it is the contribution of the BBGP that is vital to the achievement of 50% household broadband penetration rate. The government is promoting BBGP to stimulation of competitions using comp competing technologies such as fixed line streaming and wireless technologies such as WiMAX, 3G HSDPA, Wi-Fi, and edge. Although the various broadband wireless access technologies have some similarities, WiMAC presents the viable options in delivering internet to entire communities, which will help the implementations of the BBGP project and ultimately in meeting the 50% household broadband penetration target. WiMAX can provide a cost-effective broadband access solutions in areas beyond the reach of other broadband wireless access technologies. For instance, I have been informed that WiMAX is able to deliver broadband access up to 35 kilometers where else a similar broadband access or Wi-Fi can only go up to 20 meters, 200 meters. In terms of speed, I have also been told that WiMAX is able to offer higher access speed compared to the other broadband wireless access technology, i.e up to 70 megabits per second against 3.5 megabits per second offered by 3G HSDPA. Given the advantages in reach, speed, rollout, cost, security, and usability of WiMAX and the potential contributions to broadband widening in the country, in March 2007, four service providers were awarded and allocated with the 2.3 gigahertz spectrum band to provide WiMAX services. The award is subject to the service providers complying with their detailed business plan, DBP. For instance, they are required to roll out their services by August 2008 and to provide population coverage of 25% by end of this year. They are also expected to cover 40% population density in the third year of their operations. In addition, for the first three years of their rollout, they are required to maintain one megabit per second access services. The quality of service standard that is set must be met. The service providers must ensure that minimum average access speed of 700 kbps must be available at least 90% of the time. Certainly, best efforts as currently adopted by broadband players now are unacceptable. These targets are put in place as part of their commitments under their DBP and are part of the apparatus assignment conditions. These commitments must be delivered as to the non-conformance to the DBP may be deemed as a breach of apparatus assignment condition and can be subjected to penalties. In other words, I'm saying that it is no such thing as asking the customer to pay a package of one megabits per second, but only receive 300 kbp kbps. I received quite a number of complaints from public, and I also saw with my own eyes recently in Sarawak. Please put a stop to this. 
it should be highlighted that rolling out is more than just building a tower, launching new services, or setting up Wi-Fi hotspots. The government is serious in ensuring that the ultimate aim of delivering broadband internet access will benefit the rakyat, especially in semi-urban and rural areas. Therefore, if the service providers are unable to provide service rollout and coverage as well as good quality of service, they are in breach of their DBP. Accordingly, it is also a breach of their apparatus assignment conditions of 2.3 gigahertz spectrum band. I would like to reiterate that failure to comply will be subjected to penalty, where it could be in the form of withdrawal of the respective performance guarantee bonds pledged by with SKMM, i.e. up to 7.7 .7 million imposition of compounds under the Communication and Multimedia Act 1998, or withdrawal of the award to use 2.3 gigahertz. If the letter arises, the government may then award it to another service provider capable of delivering the commitments. Since WiMAX is a new technology which requires quite substantial investment, it would be prudent for the industry players to share infrastructure in order to minimize financial burdens, wastage in duplication of investments, and to accelerate deployment of their infrastructure to meet commitments in their DBP. The operators should also start to implement the industry development programs such as R&D to enhance the WiMAC technology, development of content, and contents partner. At the same time, they must continue to provide training and develop local pool of skilled personnel under the Human Resource Development, HRD programs, which are also part of the commitment in the DBP. Since Malaysia is among the first to roll out WiMAX 2.3 gigahertz by pooling resources, the WiMAX operators can be in a position to develop Malaysia as an R&D and certification hub in the region. I would like to encourage a collaboration between the WiMAX operators and the universities as well as other relevant institutions to strive to attain this target. I'm optimistic that the demand of wireless services deploy of, over WiMAX network will exceed expectations. As with mobile phone and laptop, WiMAX technologies liberate users by enabling them to access information anytime, any, anywhere, through any WiMAX enabled portable devices. This ability presents tremendous benefits and opportunities for service providers and consumers, which will drive wireless services rollout and adoption. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end the speech, I would like to congratulate Packet One Network Malaysia, Sindran Berhad, for being the first to launch the WiMAX broadband in such a large scale and urge them to continue the good work. I expect the other WiMAC operators to follow suit and roll out their services to meet the 25% population coverage target by year end, and due cost meet 40% population coverage target by year 2010. I thank you. Thank you, Yang Berhormat, Dr. Shaziman Abu Manso, the Minister of Energy, Water and Communications.